everybody. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, remember to uh, like and subscribe to the video. I cover Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes news, gameplay, all types of sorts of things. So uh, make it one of your homes for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, so today we finally heard from uh, CG and we got the release of Galactic Legends Ray's kit. So uh, we're going to hop in, just kind of do an initial overview of what we think of the kit. Um, just kind of initial reactions. I did take a, a brief minute and looked over it a little bit. So, um, but just kind of want to walk through that with you guys and see uh, what you guys think in the comments down below. Because uh, this character to me is probably going to be, I mean, a Galactic Legend is going to be the most powerful character in the game. Um, it's got a lot that you're going to have to invest into it. Um, I'm still a long way off, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some gameplay with this character. But um, it's exciting to see some new stuff in Galaxy of Heroes. So uh, let's just hop over and um, just kind of take a look at the kit. So Galactic Legends Ray. Um, one really cool thing about this is, yes, she's built to synergize with um, the, the two new resistant heroes mainly because a lot of her stuff goes around the new Inspire mechanic, which is helpful. Um, but from what they're saying is she can be useful with any light side uh, team, her abilities are going to affect any light side characters. So uh, there's a lot of potential for theory crafting going on, which is exciting because that's one of the most uh, enjoyable things that I watch is I love seeing uh, people take like Wat Tambor and just kind of see all those characters that they can make theory crafting wise. Uh, it seems like what they're going with Galactic Legends, that's going to be the same case uh, that they're going to focus on being able to kind of plug and play them with different types of light side characters. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what she kind of does maybe with some old meta uh, main characters like Jedi Knight Revan or uh, maybe having Grandmaster Yoda with her team. Like seeing how she functions with other characters besides just the resistant heroes. But um, it seems like that those characters for sure are built around her kit. So uh, let's hop in. Um, her basic ability uh, is, uh, and this is just her basic hit, which is super impressive. Uh, deal physical damage to target enemy. If, if it's Ray's turn, uh, she deals damage a second time. So two hits, uh, right off the bat. Um, and then you're going to have a, uh, health steal on top of that. So 50% health steal and ignore 50% of the target's armor, which is pretty huge. Um, you're talking about like, it's going to, make her a very very tanky character and i'm assuming she's an attacker yeah it says uh attacker and this is her category so she's light side attacker um she's a leader resistance and then there's a galactic legends tag too which i'm assuming is going to keep you from putting multiple galactic legends in there that's probably why they put the tag in there since they specifically said you can only have one galactic legend per team so uh, but you're looking at a, a basic attack that's going to one ignore armor so it's going to do probably a good amount of damage, but then it's got 50% health still, um, and then the health still is doubled while Ray is under 50% health. So, I mean, you're talking about a solid ability to keep her alive on a consistent basis, just off of her basic attack, something that you can use every turn. So this kind of reminds me of like Jolie on steroids. Like Jolie's basic attack keeps him alive. It's something that's usable anytime that he comes and takes his turn, but, it's not as powerful as this. It looks like you know you're going to be getting all that health still, but then you're also going to be doing some massive damage along the way too. So this is going to be really interesting to uh, see how that that how that ability works within her kit. And then one other thing is all of these abilities look like they take Zetas, so she's going to be an extremely expensive character to level all the way up. So all you guys who are going after, I hope you've been hoarding Zeta materials because. Uh, if you want to max her out the day that you get her, um, besides her uh, ultimate ability, it's going to take you a lot of Zeta materials to do that. So um, so our special lifeblood, this is also a really cool one. So um, Ray loses 25% uh, health, or Ray loses 25% health and target light side ally gains bonus protection equal to that amount lost. So um, she's throwing out protection onto a character that you're choosing. All of their light side allies gain half that amount, so that's going out to the rest of the team. If Ray uh, is at full health, then she uses this ability. All light side uh, characters gain critical hit immunity, so an extremely powerful heal and, um, or not heal, but taking health away from her, but 
throwing out uh, extra protection. So almost kind of like a Padme type kind of thing. You're throwing out that protection uh, to keep that incoming damage from, from coming onto your team. So uh, what's really cool about this one is the target ally gains lifeblood until they are defeated or until the lifeblood is granted to a different ally, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. Ray can't be defeated with, with this ability. So um, can't lose more than 25% health. That's not gonna, gonna take her down. Uh, but what's really cool is this life bullet uh, buff. So damage uh, received is decreased by 30% and damage dealt is increased by 30%. So I'm thinking of like, you throw that on, like first thing that comes to mind, like huge, huge damage dealer from the light side, Grandmaster Yoda, like a Relic 7 Grandmaster Yoda that's doing 30% more damage and is taking decreased damage as well because he's kind of a, a, a bit of a weaker uh, character when it comes to his health pool and receiving damage. That can make that character a, a different kind of monster than he already is. So that would be a really uh, interesting theory craft to kind of see what characters are going to work best with this lifeblood buff because it seems like that's going to be um, extremely powerful in her kit. Uh, all right, so special number two, Sudden Whirlwind, um, another Zeta ability. Uh, deal massive damage three times to a target enemy, then deal physical damage to all enemies. Enemies defeated by this ability can't be revived. That is huge. So an ability that when you wipe them off, that takes Zombie Jedi from Joe Lee or something like that off, off the table. You know, this is gonna it's gonna slaughter Night Sister teams. Like the Night Sisters don't even want to come close to this. So um that's huge um with the, with this. So um this tack can't be countered or evaded. Super powerful. Every one of these abilities is insanely powerful. So all these people who've been complaining and I've kind of been I haven't been complaining because I'm just not th that far into the game. Uh to the point where I want to push for these Galactic Legends, but man, it's seeming like so far that they're going to be worth every penny that you spend on the, on these, you know, more useless characters when it comes to the relics that you had to invest. So um, that's seeming like that's going to be extremely strong. So leader ability, wisdom of the sacred text. So light side allies gain 40% mastery. So that's the master, mastery manipulation that they were talking about before. This is going to affect your different characters in different ways because every character has different masteries. So those characters that really gain a ton by relics are going to gain even more uh, by being underneath her lead. It's going to be huge. Uh, 30 speed. Speed is king in this game, so you can't go wrong with 30 speed. And then on top of that, 30% max health as if she's not making people tanky enough already uh it's going to be huge so whenever an enemy uh gains bonus turn meter inspired light size allies gain another five percent mastery stacking until the end of the encounter wow like that is going to be insane the ramp up on this team like i mean it seems like they've made these characters to maybe be Galactic Legend versus Galactic Legend, because right now, from just seeing this kit and thinking about it, I don't know of a meta team right now that can can fight this team. Uh, this seems extremely, extremely powerful. So, uh, the first time each light side ally falls below 50% health, they gain dam damage immunity for one turn, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented, and then they receive 50% health when it expires. So not only is it healing them all the way back up, they're getting immunity for one turn. I mean, what a super, super strong leadership. Probably the best leadership that we know of in the game right now. That's insanely powerful. So I'm really looking forward to see the Kylo kit to see how it counters this Ray kit and how hers counters his kit to kind of see the types of teams that you're going to have to go after because it seems like right now it's going to be a two-horse race of... Galactic Legend versus Galactic Legend uh, for uh, the meta for sure. So, all right, she's got two uh, unique abilities as well. Uh, manifest Inspiration. Um, at the start of her turn, Ray becomes inspired. If she is already inspired, she instead inspires the healthiest light side ally who isn't. Inspired light side allies dispel all debuffs on themselves. Uh, when they use a basic ability during their turn, light side allies with inspired or damage immunity can't have their turn meter reduced. So more buffs going out to the team, you know, also dispelling with this 
inspired buffs. These inspired buffs also work with the kits from the uh, Galactic Hero um, Poe and Finn. So that's going to be very, very powerful with those two characters because you're going to be spreading that out fast to the team. Those uh, two use inspiration to do damage and other things. So um, it's going to be really, really powerful with those two characters. So um, it's going to be fun to see how people incorporate those two characters with her and then also fill in those other two slots since it doesn't have to be a resistance squad to be powerful with her. It's going to be really cool to see. So, um, and then this is the one, actually, this is our second unique ability. We haven't even made it to our ultimate ability yet. This, this chick is loaded with abilities. So, I mean, like, I was thinking the other day of, like, is there really a good ray in the game? Because we were talking, I was watching a video that had to deal with, like, the scavenger ray. And I was like, uh, like, there's not really a terrific, terrific ray in the game. And then I'm kind of down on ray because I'm not a big uh, fan of the, uh, of the uh, new uh, sequels anyway. So, because um, I was thinking, like, if they would have just made her a little bit like Ahsoka Tano, it would have been so much cool. Uh, so been a so much cooler character, but uh, this may be the first first <laughs> version of Ray that I think is flipping cool. It's gonna be fun to kind of see what she does. So, all right. So Galactic Legend, her unique number two. Uh, this unit takes reduced damage from a uh, percent health damage effects and massive damage effects. They take massive damage from destroy effects, which I'm kind of curious. I'm not really sure what a destroy effect is. I, I'm trying. I read that earlier and I'm not positive. So uh, if you guys know in the comments down below, let me know and kind of discuss this because I'm really curious on um, this because this seems like almost a debuff here on the massive damage from destroy effects. And um, it says exclude raid, raid bosses and are immune to stun effects. So she's immune to stun. So she's getting a JKR ability like this uh, stun immunity. So, and this is another one. Every one of her abilities have Zetas. Um, this unit has 10% max health and max protection per relic amplifier level. So you're talking about 70 at max uh, of both, and damage they receive is decreased by 30%. I mean, I, like I said, I can't see a team right now that can beat this one. Uh, that's going to be really um, interesting to see if there's going to be counters. Because you think of like a, a team like Gas right now, um, there's been so many different counters from even old metas like um, uh, Luke's uh, team, like the, uh, um, I can't even think what the, CLS team, there we go. The CLS team uh, can counter gas. I don't know if there's gonna be a CLS team that can counter uh, Ray from, from an old meta. It's gonna be interesting to see. So, um, and then last but not least, her ultimate ability, this thing that we've kind of been hearing about, um, they've been hinting at, and it doesn't seem like it's going to disappoint. So um, it's going to be a charge thing. Um, it takes 100% for her to be able to use it. Um, and the way that it works is Ray gains 6% ultimate charge at the start of every character's turn. So the more turn meter and turns that you have going on your team, which is another theory of crafting part of getting her maybe to this ultimate faster by creating teams that have quick turns. It's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, so, and then after you hit 100%, um, her ultimate is until the end of Ray's next turn, she enters a defensive stance and damage light side allies receive is reduced to one. So your entire team's taking one damage every hit. Um, while in this stance, Ray can't act, which has 30% less speed. So she's taken a while longer to get to the other turn or to our next turn, so everybody else is probably gonna get maybe two turns by the time it gets to her next turn um, with not taking any damage. Crazy powerful. Uh, is immune to all detrimental effects and can't be defeated. So she can't be defeated while she's in this, in this stance. Upon activating this ability again, she deals true damage. Um, true damage ignores the defense, but can't uh, critically hit. And then uh, to the enemy team split among them and all ultimate charges consumed. This attack can't be encountered or evaded. So who knows how much damage that's going to do on this ability when it's reactivated. But, I mean, the ability to completely shield your team like that, on top of everything else her kid does, is going to be crazy. So, uh, guys, that is it like i can't wait to see what galactic legend kylo's 
uh, kit is going to be. It's going to be really cool to see um, what they do with uh, with these characters going forward because it seems like both of them are probably going to be uh, theory crafters dreams. I can't wait to see uh, you know some of our favorite content creators unlock these characters and start playing around with what they can do with these uh, with these teams for sure. But um, you know, let me know what you think. Are you excited about Galactic Legends? I know it's something that. A lot of us within the community aren't going to be getting. Um, we'll kind of be living vicariously through some of these other people who get them and put videos out. But um, I'm excited about just having some new content in general. Like um, it'll be fun to watch these Galactic Legends events, like the uh, steps that they have to go through to unlock them. Uh, it does seem like they're going to have some story modes kind of along with that. That. Uh, kind of tells the story of the movies as they go along and unlock these Galactic Legends. So uh, that'll be cool to see. But then it'll be really fun to kind of see, uh, you know, Grand Arena with these characters in them uh, and see how people start uh, theory crafting up. There, It seems like the, the um, possibilities are just limitless with what you can do with these characters because they're going to have synergy with essentially all light side characters with Rey all dark side characters with Kylo, it seems like. Uh, you know, we'll find out maybe tomorrow what his kid is. And uh, you know, there's gonna be all types of teams and comps that are made uh, that, that will be really fun to watch. So uh, let me know what you think. Are you excited about Galactic Legends? Uh, do you think these characters are too powerful? Uh, which is where I'm almost leaning. Like, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm never gonna go against one anytime soon, uh, but those people who, uh, who are hoarding up uh, and going after these characters when they do get them, it may uh, wipe out a little bit of the pain of having to relic a Rose Tico uh, for sure. So, uh, but let me know what you think. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm working real hard to build a, a new quality channel for you guys. So, um, you know, subscriptions are huge for me right now. So, if you enjoyed the content, the conversation, guys, please remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. So, uh, but thanks again. I hope you guys are having a blast in Galactic Legends. And have a great day, guys.